China's Air Force has undergone a dramatic transformation, moving from outdated foreign-based designs to cutting-edge aerospace engineering. The People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLAAF, is now fielding some of the world's most advanced military aircraft. Today we're diving into the heart of China's military air fleet. We'll break down the fighters, bombers, transports, command aircraft and drones that make up this formidable force. From stealth jets like the J-20 to heavy lifters and high-tech drones, we'll explore the tech and strategy behind each. The goal? Understand how these aircraft fit together and what they mean for the future of air power. Let's get started. This is a closer look at China's military air fleet. Meet the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon. China's answer to the F-22 and F-35, this fifth-generation stealth fighter boasts advanced sensors, internal weapons bays, and a digital cockpit. It carries long-range PL-15 and short-range PL-10 missiles, all internally for stealth. The J-20 marks China's leap from Soviet-era copies to cutting-edge tech. More than a fighter, it's a symbol of China's ambition and arrival as a major player. The J-20 isn't just a jet, it's a statement. While the J-20 grabs headlines, the Shenyang J-16 Red Eagle is the backbone of China's fighter fleet. Think of the J-16 as a Swiss Army knife, tandem seat, twin engine and truly multi-role. It excels in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles, carrying a heavy payload of precision weapons. The J-16D variant jams enemy radars, clearing the way for strikes. Produced in large numbers, the J-16 is the muscle behind the PLF's finesse. Together with the J-20, it forms a high-low mix that's hard to counter. The J-16 is the workhorse, adaptable, reliable, and here in force. Next, let's look at China's bombers. Meet the Xi'an H-6 bomber, a Soviet 216 design from the 1950s, but with a modern twist. China has transformed this old airframe into a versatile, long-range missile carrier. The H-6K variant features new engines, a glass cockpit, and a redesigned nose, giving it much greater range and efficiency. Instead of dropping bombs, the H-6K now carries up to six long-range cruise missiles, like the CJ-20, under its wings. These missiles can strike targets over 1,500 kilometers away, well outside most air defenses. The H-6J naval version carries supersonic YJ-12 anti-ship missiles, posing a serious threat to enemy fleets. The latest H-6N adds in-flight refueling and a recessed bay for air-launched ballistic or hypersonic missiles, extending its reach even further. The H-6 has evolved from a simple bomber to a strategic standoff missile platform. It's a key part of China's anti-access area denial strategy, holding enemy assets at risk from long distances. By upgrading an old proven airframe, China focuses resources on advanced missiles and electronics. The H-6 isn't stealthy, but it's effective, available in numbers, and constantly evolving. Sometimes the most practical solution isn't the most advanced, it's the one that works. The H-6 is China's flying missile truck. It's a reminder that old platforms can still pack a punch, and it's a cornerstone of China's long-range strike capability. The H-6 keeps adapting and keeps adversaries on their toes. Now let's see how China moves its forces. Enter the Xian Y-20 Kunpeng, China's first homegrown heavy airlifter. For years China relied on a handful of Russian Il-76 for strategic transport. The Y-20 changes everything, giving China the ability to mass-produce its own heavy lifters. Comparable to the US C-17, the Y-20 can haul tanks, vehicles, or hundreds of troops over intercontinental distances. Its large rear ramp allows for rapid loading, unloading, and airdrops. Early models used Russian engines, but the new WS-20 turbofans boost payload, range, and efficiency. The Y-20B variant can carry more, fly farther, and operate from shorter runways. Beyond cargo, the Y-20 is a platform for special missions, like the YY-20 tanker, which extends the range of China's fighters. There's talk of AEW and C and other variants, making the Y-20 a foundation for future support aircraft. The Y-20 is the backbone of China's global reach, enabling rapid deployment, disaster relief, and power projection. It's a strategic asset, not just a transport. With the Y-20, China controls its own logistical destiny. It's a leap forward for the play F's ambitions. The Y-20 is more than a plane, it's a force multiplier, and it's just getting started. Next, 
Let's look at the brains of the operation. The all-seeing eye in the sky. Meet the Shanxi KJ-500, China's Airborne Early Warning and Control AEW&C aircraft. Based on the Y-9 airframe, the KJ-500's fixed radar dome houses three ASA antennas for seamless 360-degree coverage. This modern design tracks dozens of targets, resists jamming and even performs electronic warfare. Flying high above the battlefield, the KJ-500 detects enemy aircraft, cruise missiles, and ships long before ground or fighter radars can. Inside, battle managers fuse sensor data and direct friendly forces, acting as the coach for the entire air fleet. The KJ-500 vectors fighters, coordinates strikes, and ensures all assets work together. It's a massive force multiplier, letting fewer fighters do more with better information. China also fields the larger KJ-2000 and smaller KJ-200, but the KJ-500 hits the sweet spot of capability and affordability. Produced in significant numbers, it supports operations across multiple theaters. A robust AEWNC fleet is a sign of a mature air force, and the KJ-500 is China's linchpin. It ties the whole system together. Without it, the rest of the fleet would be flying blind. The KJ-500 is the brain of China's air power. It's the unseen force behind every successful mission. Now let's talk about China's unmanned revolution. No modern air force is complete without drones, and China is now a global leader in military UAVs. The Wing Lung and CH series drones are China's answer to the US Reaper, offering long endurance, strike capability, and global exports. The Wing Lung 2 can stay aloft for over 20 hours, carrying sensors and missiles for both surveillance and attack. The CH-5 pushes endurance even further, with heavier payloads and persistent overwatch. These drones give China the ability to monitor vast areas and strike targets without risking pilots. High-altitude WZ-7 soaring Dragon drones provide strategic reconnaissance, flying above enemy air defenses. The stealthy GJ-11 Sharp Sword is designed for penetrating strikes, taking out air defenses, and command centers. The rocket-powered WZ-8 can be air-launched, reaching hypersonic speeds for rapid, survivable reconnaissance. China's drone fleet changes the strategic equation, offering persistent surveillance, low-risk strikes, and the ability to perform dangerous missions unmanned. Mass production and rapid innovation show that drones are central to China's future military power. From workhorse UAVs to exotic hypersonic platforms, China's unmanned arsenal is vast and growing. Drones are no longer a niche, they're a pillar of the play AF. The unmanned revolution is here, and China is leading the charge. But what's next? The future of China's Air Force is already taking shape. Six-generation fighters, hypersonic weapons, and AI-driven swarms. Work is underway on a J-20 successor, likely featuring even greater stealth, advanced electronic warfare, and optionally manned capability. Expect AI co-pilots, networked loyal wingmen, and the ability to command swarms of drones in battle. China is also pushing hard into hypersonic tech, glide vehicles, air-launched missiles, and reusable aircraft that could reach anywhere on Earth in hours. The WZ-8 and H-6N hint at this future, with hypersonic reconnaissance and strike options. Space and air are merging, with reusable space planes and satellite-linked assets blurring the lines between domains. The goal, a system of systems, manned fighters, drones, hypersonics, and space assets, all connected by AI and data links. Information dominance, speed, and mass coordination will define the next era of air power. China's investments today are building blocks for a multi-domain networked force. The PLAF isn't just catching up, it's aiming to leap ahead. The next generation of air warfare will be faster, smarter, and more connected than ever. China wants to be at the forefront, the future is coming fast, and the race is on. The question, who will lead? Let's wrap up. China's air fleet has evolved into a modern, formidable force. Stealth fighters, workhorse multi-role jets, long-range bombers, heavy lifters, and a growing drone army. Their system-of-systems approach means every aircraft works as part of a larger, networked whole. With aggressive investment in next-gen tech, China isn't just catching up, they're aiming to lead. 
it's a story of ambition, adaptation, and rapid innovation. Which aircraft or technology impressed you most? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, subscribe for more deep dives into military tech. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.